Hello, I'm Mama S. Thank you for joining me, folks. I hope you're all well. Today's video is about Stardew Valley. Now, I've been streaming this over on Twitch. Uh, some of you may or may not know that I do stream quite regularly over there. And if you're not following me, there'll be a link in the description for you to do so. So please hop on over and show your support. That would be much appreciated. And I thought, you know what, this would be a great series to do for YouTube as well. I didn't fancy editing the stream, so I thought I'd start from scratch because I've been learning as I've been going along and I, there are things that I would do differently now. So I thought, you know what, I'll start a brand new farm in a brand new place and do like a gameplay introduction, if you like, to the game for you all. While you're here, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you've yet to do so. It's free and you'd make me one very happy lady. I hope you enjoy the video. So we start off on this uh, welcome page where you can load your new game, start a new one. And it's a recent introduction is there's the co-op where you can play with your buddies if you want to. So we'll hit new. And you can pick your character. So we can have a boy or a girl and you can select skin type lots to choose from hair color or hairstyle i should say it'll make a different i think from the one on the stream should we go with a boy with a boy with a girl on the stream let's go with a boy on this one uh yeah yeah uh shirt what sort of shirt would he like don't really mind trousers i don't think he'd appreciate a skirt might do he might be into that sort of thing in which case that's groovy ack is that his face a bit of a moustache going on there boy you have a bit of a moustache do you like cats or dogs it's gotta be cats i'm a cat person it's gotta be cats i'm afraid Eye colour. Can't actually see them on the screen. Uh, two eyes would be good. Hair colour. What colour hair? He's gonna have green hair to match his moustache. I think we've given him a green beard. It's like he's thrown up on himself. And his trousers. Well, as you can see, you can adjust this as much as you like. Uh he's gonna, he looks a bit of a mess, really. What should we call him? We're going to call him... I don't know. We're going to call him Joey. Don't know why. It's the first name that's popped into my head. Right then, Joey. Welcome to the world, buddy. And the farm name is... This sort of thing takes me forever, usually. Because it's YouTube, we're going to call it Tuba. Tuba Farm. Favourite thing? Oh, what's his favourite thing? Eating. Okay, and then over here you can pick where. Let's just get rid of this camera so you can see the wording. You can pick standard farm, which is what I have over on the stream. Riverland, where you get lots of fish. Forest farm. The woods limit your farming space, however, the bounty of the forest is nearly at your doorstep, so you get lots of wood. Hilltop farm, rocky terrain and a winding river make it difficult to design your farm. However, a mineral deposit provides mining opportunities. And a wilderness farm, there's plenty of good land here, but beware at night, the monsters come out. And this one I think is more co op y, where you've got your four corners farm. So, I think we might try. Should we try a hilltop farm? The rocky terrain and a winding river. We try it. Let's go with hilltop farm. So, this is Grandad. And for my very special grandson, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Thanks, Grandad. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. 
there will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Oh, happy chap. And your bright spirit will fade before growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Good grief, that's something to look forward to then, isn't it? Now, let Grandpa rest. So, so many years later, or does that mean 20 years later as it's XX? Oh, what's going on here? We're at Jojo. Join us, thrive. We are working. Oh, dear. Smile, you're with Jojo. This looks quite depressing. Life's better with Jojo. Doesn't look that better. Nice hat there, though, cowboy. I like it. Is that me with the green hair? I think it is. I think we've had enough. Oh, we're crying. Oh, don't be sad. Oh, no. He's had enough. Ready for the envelope. Why would you take it to work? I don't think I'd take it to work. Something so precious. Let's open the envelope. Dear Joey, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy. Chuba Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Well, I, Grandpa, so we're off to Stardew Valley. Da -da -da -da, let the games begin. And here we are on our bus. Half a mile to Stardew Valley. Fabulous. Stardew Valley. Everybody off, please. Hello, you must be Jerry. Yes, I'm Jerry. Hello, Robin. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for you. I can't do that voice. That hurts my throat too much. We'll just rock with normal, shall we, from now on? The farm's right over here. If you'll follow me... Let's follow Robin, then. And this is the farm. This is Tuba Farm. Lovely. I think I'm behind the camera. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. You'll be all right, Joey. Don't you worry, buddy. Although your greenness, you might sort of be camouflaged. And here we are, your new home. Hello, who are you and what are you doing in our house? Oh, it's Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Get out of my house. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Get out of my house, buddy. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. It's quite cute. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty. <gasps> rude, Robin, you're rude. How dare she call it crusty? That's just rude. Absolutely, Lewis. Rude. Don't listen to her, Joey. She's trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. 
Ah, he's got your number, Robin. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Okie dokie. Bye, Lewis. Oh, no. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's a bit weird, isn't it? He comes by at night to collect things. Well, good luck. See you, people. <laughs> cock -a doodle doodles It's the morning. So, here we are. This is our house. Right then, Joe, what have we got here? What's this? We've got parsnip seeds. Nice. And a journal entry. You've received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started from the mayor. How kind. So our journal entry. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe to till the soil, then use a seed packet on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop is ready for harvest. Introductions. Go around and meet people. We've got 28 of them. Well, 26 left to meet. Good grief. What's this on the table? No idea. Uh, okay, nice fire. The television. Oh, what's the weather? Welcome to Kosu 5, your number one source for weather, news and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. Beautiful sunny day tomorrow. How lovely. Fortune teller. Ooh, I see glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are in good humour today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. And living off the land, you get recipes from here. Worth what, reading these. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. This one's for all you green horns out there. Green horn? Chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Right, so we need to go and plant... What's this? I don't know what that is. All right, let's go and plant these seeds. But where do we plant them? What have we got? Let's explore. So we've got these steps and we've got this. So I suppose this could be a good place to plant. Or what else is there? We don't want to plant too far away from the house to begin with. But then it would be good to have buildings near the house. Let's go down here then. Let's plant here. So we need to chop some stuff, right? Let's chop some trees. Excuse me. We've got 15 parsnips. So let's get those bad boys down. Excuse me, little tree. I bet we can't do that one now. Our axe is not strong enough. I wasn't aiming for that. I was. Oh, I know. I know. I'm aiming for this one. Then we need to swap to the axe thingy for this. Get rid of that. Go back to chop tree. So we've got 15 seeds. So what I've been doing is I've been planting uh, on my other farm when I stream. I've been planting uh, three by threes because the watering can, when you upgrade it, goes three by three. And notice at the bottom right hand corner of the screen, we've got energy. So when that is depleted, that's it. You're a tired little baby. Let's go with one, two, three. You can eat food and stuff though to replenish your energy. And there is a swimming pool, spa thing that you can go to as well. 
I don't know why I like to have a gap, but I do. We now have a problem, of course, because we've got a stump in the way. We've got some clay, lovely. So we're going to have to go that way. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. And then three, another one here. Good. Right, now the seeds. Wait, I've run out? Did I not? I thought it was 15. There is, I can't count. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh dear, I can't count. Okay, they're all in. That's the important thing. So we've got to water them. You have to water them daily. Now I've found that it's a good thing to check the weather because upgrading your watering can takes two days. So what I did was I waited for the next day the forecast to be rainy and unlike the real world the weather forecast here is always accurate so far that I've discovered. So uh, one day I water, the next day it's rainy. So on I water the plants I then go and send my watering can to Clint, who is the blacksmith who upgrades it. And then on day two, when it's raining, I don't need to water the crops. Uh, so then on day three, I can go and fetch my watering can, come home and water the crops. If you see what I mean. hope that makes sense. All right, so they're watered. And we're going to go and meet some people. Another good thing to do, you'll find lots of these en route. Oops, no, not watering cans. Pick up things. Just pick them up, you need them. There is a community center that requires upgrading. And there are things in the community center that you need to collect to help with the upgrades. I don't know if it's unlocked yet. But I did not discover this until way into the summer, I think it was. Yeah, it's not available yet. But things that you collect, like plants, things that you grow, that sort of stuff, you will need. So get your inventory upgraded as quickly as you can as well. This is the local store with a calendar of what's happening in the spring. And as you can see, there's 28 days in the each season. Now, a word of warning. I did not know that when the se season ends, so when spring ends and summer starts, all your spring crops die. So you need to time it so that what you grow is completed and you've harvested it before the end of the season. Otherwise, in my case, it was the a fairy of death that came at the end of spring and killed the lot. Keep that in mind when you're managing what you're doing. So it's the mayor's birthday on the 7th. So if you give him a gift on his birthday, he's really happy. So what else can we grow in here? Let's have a look. This is Pierre. Hello, Pierre. He's got parsnip seeds. We've got them growing. Cauliflower seeds. I think we might grow a few of those. So let's have one. Oh, my inventory's full. See what I mean? Inventory, full, annoying. So we can't buy anything just yet, Pierre, but I'll be back. Hello, who are you? Hello, Leah, it's nice to meet you. You've picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Bye, thank you very much. So we need to go back home and dump some of this stuff. So let's do that now. But I hear the question you are all asking me. Where, Mama, where are you going to dump them all? That is a good question. You can build things, so you can craft stuff. We can craft a chest and we need 50 pieces of wood, so we need to hack some more trees. So if you look at this, if I eat this daffodil, it's going to give me absolutely no energy. None of this stuff. That's going to drain. The leek will give me 40 energy, so I'm going to eat the leek. No, I don't want to eat the daffodil. I want to eat the leek. Now we've got some energy. Not much, admittedly. We have some. We can go 
Um, hop, chop another tree. Fifty, right? We've got fifty wood now. My energy is very low. Let's craft a chest. Lovely. And now we're going to place the chest somewhere. And then in said chest, we could put stuff. So fibre you're going to need, wood you're going to need, sap, stone and clay. Uh, this will probably need as well. Um, but we could gift that to some people, make them happy. So now we have room in our inventory. Let's go back into town and buy some plants. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello, Harvey. He is the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Good to know. Hopefully we won't need your services. Let's go back in here. Yeah, I'd like to buy something, please. Where are you? Ah, now you see, this is where you get your backpack upgrade, which I would suggest you do as soon as you can, because otherwise you're forever juggling stuff in your inventory. We don't have 2,000 gold, or spawn doodles, as I like to call them, so we can't do that. Pierre, I want to buy some stuff. Hey, it's Mr. Joey. Just Joey. The new farmer. I'm Pierre. I know we've met, hun. Do you have short-term memory loss? Is your name Dory? If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. All right, well, can I buy something then? Will I come back when he's tending the shop? Well, what's he doing? Come on, Pierre, I want to buy some seeds, buddy. Who's through here? Hello, who are you? Hello, Caroline. Hello, you must be Joey, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hello, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, so you are married to Pierre. And and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. No, can't say I have. Nice talk, though. The purple hair would be Abigail. Oh, to Mr. Pierre, it pains me to be the bearer of bad news, but I feel obligated to inform you of a recent development most threatening to your livelihood. Jojar Co has decided to expand into Pelican Town. It's too late to for protest. Jojo builders have already broken ground for the new Jojo Mart. So that's like a supermarket. This must be devastating news for you. So many years in business, local standby, and now obscured by the shadow of a powerful, efficient, economically viable corporation. What a shame. Sensing a little bit of sarcasm there. As manager of the Jojo Mart, I feel to some degree personally responsible for your predicament. As such, I'd like to offer you a position as assistant grocer, wages start at five gold an hour. I look forward to seeing your resume. That's the cheek of it, ma'am. Poor old Pierre. Right, Pierre, are you going back behind the counter, buddy? No. God, I wanted to buy some seeds. This must be where Harvey works. But you can only be ill between nine and three, it would seem. Who lives here? Hello? Alex! Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. Short but sweet. Okay. Who are you? George! Humph! It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Yeah, it is a little bit. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Okay, and this is Evelyn. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Uh, no, you're good, thanks. Aha, who's this? Have we met him? Hello? Clint! Uh, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Mario, someone in a caravan? We're not good enough friends with Penny to enter her bedroom. Penny lives in the caravan, radio. Where are you off to then, Clint? Off to the saloon? 
would appear so. Let's join him. Let's see what's happening in the saloon. Who we got here then? Pam. Hey kid, name's Pam. Nothing like a sip of the old stuff to warm these old bones. And this is Gus. Well, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Good evening. Can I get you anything? No, you're all right. Thank you. Emily? Ooh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. All right. We go through here. Oh, we go through here. What have we got in here then? Who lives here? Oh. Is this like, like a hotel? Like an inn? No. We're not good enough friends with Gus. That's his bedroom. Oh, it's Eddie. What's on the other side? Hello? I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane. Shane is rude. Got pool table. Buy some drink. No, you're alright. A skull shaped keyhole. <gasps> Journey of the Prairie King. What do we have to do here? Oh, a bit like Space Invaders. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Let's do it again. <gasps> No, look, I was pressing the buttons. I get it now. Look at that. Oh my God, you need your wits about you to do this. Gosh. Now do you have to move. Oh, oops. What's this times one thing I keep picking up? You could do it with the controller. <laughs> yeah, I'll give that up as a bad start. That's just bad. We won't do that. What have we got in here? This must be the brewery bit. Or the, or the wine and the ale. Okay, so that's, that's the bar done. Oh, it's dark now. Even the cows are sleeping. Trouble is, I don't have much energy. Be able to get my way past all this. Is that some mixed seeds? Oh, how do we get past the river? Well, if you want to refill your water can, you just go up to a place of water and away you go. I'm starting to feel exhausted. You see, my energy is waning. I can't get past. Oh, no. Let me past. I oh, we're sluggish now from over exhaustion. I just want to get back to the house. Come on, Joey, we can do this, boy. We can do this. It's been a hard day. Hard day. Our first day has been a hard, hard day. Half past midnight. Good grief. Don't collapse on me, buddy. It's been a productive day, though. We've built a chest. We've met some people. We've planted our parsnips. Is that our house? That is like our house. Here we go. Let's get in the house. And to bed. Oh, that's a light. I wondered what that was. And let's go to sleep for the night. So this brings me to the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. There is going to be a second follow-up introductory video, so stay on the lookout for that. So make sure you've hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified as to when I upload the next video. Also, 
if you've made it all the way to the end thank you so much for watching please hit the like button and as i said at the beginning i'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel it's free you've got nothing to lose don't forget you can find me live on twitch i'm also on twitter and facebook you will find the links to everything on the home page here on youtube or you can go to www.mamasgaming.co.uk until next time ciao for now